Hello and welcome to Cloud Perceptor. In this video, we are going to do a demo session on migrating from origin access identity to origin access control in AWS CloudFront. So I will quickly log into my AWS management console and show you how this can be done. Okay, so I have one distribution already created. Yeah, which is uh, which is having an origin of S3 okay and as you can see the origin access right it is configured as legacy access identities so the reason why uh, it like we are not using uh, OAI is because it is a legacy now okay and uh, AWS has released origin access control. Okay. So basically the differences between OAI and uh, OAC is, you know, OAC is implemented with enhanced security practices like short term credentials, frequent credential rotations and resource based policies. Okay. So it it provides better protection against attacks like confused deputy. Okay. So just Google this term confused deputy. You will understand what kind of attacks are those. So, uh, OAC, OAC will prevent this kind of attacks. Okay. So, and uh, again, this is legacy. So it's good to upgrade it. So, uh, I'll show you the steps for upgrading it. Okay. Like migrating it. The first step is if we look at the bucket policy, right? Bucket policy for this particular bucket. It is configured to use with OAI. Okay. Since you, you can see, right? The principle is like this origin access identity. So let's change it. I'll quickly change it to this origin access control settings okay i'll select the uh, origin access control that i recently created it's just a name it's, it's nothing more than that i'll just show you so if you look at this origin type should be s3 the name should be it's you can you can keep it the name of the bucket URL probably okay and select sign request which is the recommended settings okay then click on save and select that particularly newly created OAC from over here okay and then click on save changes okay So once this is done, you can copy the policy from over here, which you need to append it over in the bucket policy of that uh, particular S3 bucket. But there is one more change that you need to perform, which is over here. Uh, let's quickly show you default root object. Okay. It is currently set to index.html, but in case if it is not, then remember to put this index.html over here. Don't put a slash. Because if you do that, then it, it uh, prompts with access denied errors. Okay. Once this is done, uh, click on save and wait until this gets deployed. Meanwhile, we'll try it, we'll uh, update this bucket policy. Okay. We'll quickly remove this OAI policy and uh, paste our newly created bucket policy for OAC. So if you look at this uh, policy, right now, the principle is service, which is cloudfront.amazonaws.com. Action is get object. Resource is this for this resource. This is the condition for the ERN. This is the ERN of our cloud, CloudFront uh, distribution. If you look at the ERN, then it is this one. Okay. So that's it. Like once this is done, you can click on save changes. 
let's try to access this object URL and see if we can access it. As you can see, we are getting access denied error. So this means it's working correctly. Okay, let's wait until this distribution is deploying. All right, so distribution is deployed successfully. Let's click on that and we'll try to access this URL over here. Quickly, yeah. So it is working fine as expected. So this is how you can quickly migrate from OAI to OAC. Okay. I'll, I'll recommend you to migrate all your uh, like old buckets, okay to OAC in case they are still using OAI to enhance security. Okay. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching this video. Do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you again.